Well, I think I found some fish bait. Unintentionally grew them in my own pickup truck. Yeah, I kind of throw the trash back here for a while and uh, maggots. Oh, they're so nasty. But there's so many of them, might as well collect a few for bait, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to scoop some of these up, even though they're gross, but they do sell them. You know, they, you can buy these things. Uh, these have kind of been uh, growing in a bunch of ripped up trash bags, so we're gonna use these for bait. Got the trash hauled off, and then I wanted to stop at the closest place I could to do some fishing. And I'm here to creek. I've only been to this spot a couple times. I remember there's like a deeper stretch right here. So I got my maggots here. Oh, they stink too, but I got quite a few of them in there. I could have got a whole bunch more, but I didn't want to go through all that nastiness. I only brought one pole with me. I'm just gonna kind of throw it out here. Anything could really be coming through this stretch right here. And uh, if I catch something, I might use it for bait to kind of go for one a uh, little bit bigger fish, but we're just not gonna fish real long, but let's get some of these things hooked up and get them out there. Guess they're gonna have to touch it. It's got on a hook with a jig head, light jig head. We'll try this out. I know there's got to be all kinds of panfish and everything right here. No telling, could be anything. I know I've I've caught several different fish right here, and I feel like anything could be coming up through this stretch. It's a pretty good stretch right here. Oh, well that took no time at all. Well, a little bluegill. That's kind of, you almost want to keep for bait, but uh, we'll throw them back for now. All right, we got three of them on there. Should bring something out. Legs are itching like crazy. Oh, yep. Number two, a different species also. A little red breast. And didn't take all our bait. We can still use it. <laughs> Let's share a bunch of little ones. Uh, bluegill. There's a ton of little fish right here. I think, I think there's got to be some bigger ones in there. Little ones are probably so many they're just getting to it so fast. Oh, oh, this feels good. I feel like a big panfish. Nice red breast. That's what I was looking for. We swallowed that hook, man. He really wanted those maggots. Yeah, get my pliers. Nah, I was able to get my hook out. I think it'll be alright. Oh, I got, a, I got a fish. I threw it up in the tree, and good thing a fish hit it. That got me out. A little bluegill. All right, we're gonna save him for bait. I, I actually changed up. Ouch! Changed up hooks. To a circle octopus hook. Oh, whoa, don't get out of there. I'm gonna hold on to that guy and we'll, we'll probably cut him up in a minute. All right, I got a bunch, bunch of them wadded on, up on this one, on the hook, no weight. Just let's see, oh, there's, yep, didn't take long. There's so many sunfish right here. Look. They are really hammering that stuff. Ooh, nice red breast, I think. Yes. A lot of red breast right there. 
And these red are like really taking that lure. They're taking that bait. <laughs> well, I found a place where I can catch panfish easy. Man, they are loaded in this spot. I also don't think people come down here a lot. There's a, there was a trail that's like faintly worn coming down to it, but I don't think you're coming down here a lot. Oh, got a fish. Hey, green sunfish. She was right off that rock right there. I dropped it a little closer here and back in the water. Got it. Another green sunfish, two in a row right there. So we've got bluegill, red breast, green sunfish, and we need to get something else. Oh, nice. Oh man, I think he's putting up a fight. What a slab. Holy. Oh man, I caught one like a couple days ago that I thought was my biggest. I think this may be even bigger than that. I know it's hard to <laughs> catch these all the time and I'm always saying that's a giant one. But this in here, it's a true giant, I think. Let me get the hook out. Dude, that, that is a nice red breast. They're so, they're just so big and like, they're a thick fish, just a wide body. When they, when they fight, they have such big body to fight with. All right, well, I'm out of maggots. So I'm gonna sacrifice one little blue, that little bluegill that I caught. I don't mind using one just to catch some other fish with. It's just a little guy and it's not gonna hurt anything. So I got a little chunk of meat on there and I got no weight on it. I'm gonna throw it. Oh, yes, skipped way on down in there. And just let it sit. I mean, a big sunfish could get to the center of its mouth. Uh, rock bass, I mean, maybe a bass, catfish, drum, I don't know. Hopefully something hits it. Something interesting will bite it and we'll get something off of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay that pole right there and I'm just gonna watch my line. I got that, I got 10 pound pieces of braid and I, got, I think I got like an eight pound leader, but with no uh, weight on there, I'll just wait till that line just starts moving or starts getting tight and I'll pick it up. Hopefully, oh, like that right there. Oh, that was just a little tug though. I need something just to pick it up and swim with it. Oh, oh, I got one. What is it? Oh, nice. It's something different. That's all I care about. And it's something cool to fight. <laughs> that took like, like a minute, maybe at the most. A drum, a pretty good little drum. I thought there would be some bigger fish right there, just that my bait I was using earlier, the little fish were just hammering it. Didn't have time to get a bigger fish to get a hold of it. Man, that makes my day right there. I love it to get something different. And uh, drum are fun, fun fish to catch, something, something bigger. I'm not fishing to eat any of these things anyway, so I'm just fishing for fun. Look at that. Freshwater drum right there. I think it's a cousin to the redfish that I caught a couple weeks ago in Florida. I caught a little bitty one, but all right, he's back in. Well, not getting any bites here uh, now. Nothing else after I got that drum. So I'm gonna make one last attempt. I'm gonna use, where did that thing go? I'm gonna use the head of this bluegill and we're chugging it out there. Hopefully, just maybe there's a catfish in this hole. I'd love to get that guy. I use that chunk of bluegill for 15, 20 minutes, nothing. So I'm gonna throw this spinner around for about 15 minutes and just work up and down this bank for just a little bit and then I'm out of here. There's a fish. Little guy. Oh, green sunfish. I'm trying to see if I can find a bass. 
Gotta be some bass in this little area. What was that? A little fish. Uh, another green sunfish. Wow, a bunch of these out today. They're definitely real active. Oh, what we got? Something hammered it. Oh, not a bass, a big old red breast. Nice. Man, these guys are huge this time. I guess just time, time of the year, I've been catching some big ones here in the fall, getting ready for winter. What, another red breast? Dude, these red breasts are tearing it up. Thought I'd get a few bass, but I guess the bass ain't gonna show up today. But these guys made a, they sure showed up and showed out. Oh, get in there. One of the things that I, I look for now that I, you know, I, I make videos, I've been doing it for a year now, making videos, fishing videos on YouTube to, to earn a living. So it's like my job, but I, but I want to keep it fun. And I don't want to get to the point where I'm like, well, I got to go out and do a video on this. So I look for any kind of creative, just kind of anything to give me excitement or, you know, a little bit, bit a little energy about fishing and I wasn't planning on fishing today. I was, you know, taking off trash and I was like, I had some other things to do. I'm going to go early in the morning tomorrow. And then I saw those, um, those, uh, maggots, those fly maggots, whatever they are. And I was like, Hey, I should use these to do some fishing. And I knew I was going to be crossing by the Creek, stopped by, fished here a couple hours, ended up using the spinner a little bit and went ahead and searched for a little bit of bass and just had a fun time doing it. And, um, I don't, I'm not really big on like planning things out or like specific videos are like all right today i'm gonna do this every once in a while I will. but most time it's just like hey i feel like doing this today hey, i want to try and do this today and um that's how i hope to be able to keep doing my videos where i keep having fun enjoying it and i hope you're enjoying it too thanks so much for watching